So hi guys, this is Varsha and you're watching Mastermind. So friends, as you have already seen in the title of this video, in this session we are going to discuss some of the questions from your chemistry, that is from your chapter 7, that is your metallurgy. And I'm going to discuss some of the questions which are really very important for your board examinations from your eyes for your especially for your ICC 2020 board examinations. So please pay concentration to all the questions which I say and I will also be telling you the answers. So we are going to discuss all the important questions from your chapter 7 that is your metallurgy. And it is also going to be a kind of revision for you all. Let us see how much you have studied. So you can uh, revise and you can recall even if you have studied and you have forgot some of the answers. So it can be a kind of revision for you. So let, without wasting much of our time, let us begin. So friends, if you can see clearly, I've written all the questions, all the important questions that are there. And these are mostly your objective questions. And there are overall nine questions. So I'm going to uh, discuss that. So let us begin. So the first question is, this is very easy. Name a metal which is liquid at room temperature. So most of you must be knowing that. And if you don't know, for your kind information, the answer is mercury. So mercury is liquid at room temperature. And please do not forget this. Mercury is liquid at room temperature. This is a very common question which is asked in your board examinations most of the time. Now the next question, a non-metal which conducts electricity. So a non-metal which conducts electricity is graphite. So you have to remember this. Please do not forget that a non-metal that conducts electricity is graphite. Now the next question is the process of coating of one metal with another metal with the help of electricity. The process of coating one metal with another metal with the help of electricity. So the answer is electroplating. Electroplating is the process in which one metal is coated with another metal with the help of electricity. So now the next question that is question number four. Now this, uh, this question is very important for your board examination. All these questions are actually very important for your board examinations because for your board examination because most of the time these questions are asked. So the next question is the process of heating an iron ore to a very high temperature in the absence of air. So in the absence of air, this process, you might be knowing this. So, th and this is very common. It is calcination. Calcination is the process in which iron ore is heated, in which uh, there is heating of ore to a very high temperature in the absence of air. Now there is another process, which is the reverse of this. That is the process of heating an ore in the presence of uh, a very high temperature. And it is in the uh, presence of air. So in the presence of air, what is going to be the answer? You are going to write to us in the comment section now. So, and we'll come back to you. So now the next question is, the process in which zinc is coated on iron sheets to prevent it from rusting. So some of you might be knowing this and those who do not know the answer, please do not forget whatever, uh, whatever answers I'm saying. Please remember all the answers because from your board examinations point of view, all these questions are very uh, important. So it is galvanization. Galvanization is the process it, uh, is the process in which the iron sheets are coated with zinc. Now the next question is name a metal which is found abundantly in the earth's crust. So the metal that is found abundantly in the earth's crust is aluminium. And the formula you all must be knowing this it is Al. Now the next question is this is again very important a compound which is added to lower the fusion temperature of the electrolytic bath in the extraction of aluminium. So you have to name the compound that is added to lower the fusion temperature. So it is your cryolite. It is cryolite and you must also remember the formula of the cryolite because most of the time it is asked in your objective questions that is your from your section A or it can also be from your section B. So the formula of cryolite is Na3ALF6. Now the next question is brass is an alloy of dash. So you must remember that brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. Now you please do not get confused. There is one more thing. Bronze is there. Bronze is an alloy of copper and tin. But brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. Please do not forget. Bronze is an alloy of copper and tin. And brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. Now the next question is, this is the last question. So name the solution which is used to react with bauxite in the first step of obtaining pure aluminium. Once again, I'm repeating the question, name the solution which is used to react with bauxite in the first step of obtaining pure aluminium oxide. So the answer is your sodium hydroxide, that is your NaOH. You must also remember the formula while you are studying. So friends, these were some of the questions that I've discussed and you can also uh, refer to the description box. In the description box, I'll, description box of this video, I'll be providing the 
pdf of this so you can download it so friends this was the video thanks for watching this video and if you like this video then please do give the thumbs up button and subscribe our channel mastermind and yes if you have any doubts or queries then you can write to us in the comment section and yes please do not forget to answer to us in the comment section what is the answer what is the reverse process of calcination that is calcination is the process of heating an iron ore in the absence of air and name the process that is uh, process of heating an ore to a very high temperature in the presence of air what is it called it is very easy so come on write to us in the comment section thank you